guys and welcome to another video on the new R Factor 2 competition system. Today we're not talk we're not going too much about the racing. We will do racing, but mainly we're going to talk about the new competition system itself. How does it work? How's qualifying working? How does the overall system work? How's racing going to be? And what can we expect from it in the future and with that guys I welcome you to the stream so we're already again in our R Factor 2 simulation if you want to go into the competition area first you find news then race watch community and content uh, community gets it to the forum content sorts of content on the PC so whatever racing content you subscribe to watch is going to be interesting live stream broadcast replays that will come in the near future but for us the most important thing is the competition beta and we are already subscribed to this tattoos winter series but if you want to get into the competition itself you want to go into this page down there you find <clears throat> tattoos winter series you click on it and then here on the left you would find sign up when you click sign up, you need to agree to the code of conduct of R Factor 2, which also includes the rule book. So I strongly advise you read that carefully. If you're new into sim racing and new into R Factor 2, if you're doing R Factor 2 competitions all over the globe, or if you do a GT Challenge, if you do um, Virtual Endurance Championship, if you do the GT Pro, of course, then you already have read the rules. Um, then you click sign up. You then sign up with your name and your email address, and then you get to the summary. The summary shows you the, the available events uh, coming up, the next four, I, I believe, or the next five. That will be qualifying and race, 15-minute qualifying, 20-minute race. Um, hey there, Callum. Hey there, Mantis. Yeah, see you on track, Mantis. So, um, I'm going now to sign up for this qualification. And that is a common issue as of right now. Don't be intimidated by that qualifying briefing. You have not registered for this session. You can click it again and then error, error registering for the session. So what you need to do right now, and remember all this competition stuff is beta at the minute. You need to go back. You need to go back into the R Factor 2 tab, exit the game and reload into it. <laughs> Why this is an issue, I do not 100% know. What I do know, though, is that R Factor 2 is on and trying to fix it. I guess this is mainly to do with... Bear with me. I forgot to rearrange some stuff. And I may look like a full idiot now, but I don't care. Awesome. Perfect. <laughs> um, so, again, R Factor 2 is working on all that. Why it is the case, we expect it to be a, a, yeah, a Steam issue. Anyway, loading back into the game right now, I can already tell you how this qualifying system works. So, as soon as you're in, uh, registered for that race, um, you have told the server, you've told the entire um, competition system that you are trying to participate for the next upcoming event, which in this case is a qualifying session. So we click on race. So this time I'm not entering via the R Factor 2 tab, but about the race tab. And then you find competition. You take part in the following competitions. There's a qualifying going on in three minutes, 20. So I just click on more. So we come back to the same tab. A page click in the tattoos winter series you don't need to do that you also can go in the summary because all competitions will show up all competitions available as of right now my competitions will show you all the competition appointments that you are subscribed to right now this is just the tattoos winter series as we're talking about future things we're going to talk about future things between race and qualifying or qualifying and race, there will be a small gap. So we go into all competitions, we join our qualifying, and this time we are registered for the race. And we're gonna stay in this page now until the, uh, we are joining the session, which will be in two minutes 30. So 
Uh, once you're on the server, there will be a short practice session before the actual qualifying session starts. That is to load all the cars to actually get into the qualifying session. And after the session is over, you will be automatically removed from the session. Um, and the system, as of right now, will just take the result of it. It won't be shown to you. So here's the, here's the thing. Um, let's pretend 65 people tried to qualify for the event. All those 65 people being split up into splits of 20, and then 20 people are doing their qualifying. After the session, all times from all splits will get into one sheet. And that sheet contains all 65 drivers with that qualifying time. Top 20 go in split one, second top 20 go in split two, third top, uh, third top 20 go in split three, and the remaining five of the 65 go in split four. Now, this qualifying result will then be active for every other event coming up. So let's pretend I did a specific time and put myself in P5. Then I will be P5 in the top split as long as the other guys ahead of me are competing. So if I'm on top split, top five, um, just three guys will compete and I am the fifth guy. I'm going to start in P3 because the other two are missing, obviously. Um, and that will be done for every server like this. And that's how the splits will be generated for the race. And this qualifying result stays dynamic. We do have a qualifying right now. The next qualifying is tomorrow, uh, 1.30 a.m. So there's two qualifying sessions a day and five race sessions a day. However, in the next qualifying, let's say at 1.30 a.m. tonight, the next 25 guys are qualifying. And the 25 guys that qualify, they want to get be put into the table with the other 65 already there. So 25 guys enter the qualifying result of the session that was five hours ago, makes it 90 people, and there is a new order then. Which also means if I said, nah, my qualifying lap was so bad, I just got P5, whatever, I can go into the next qualifying, do another qualifying session, improve my lap time, then be P2, then I'm going to start second on the grid. In, in a top split race, as long as all other top split guys are around. Does that make sense? Let it just tickle into you a little bit. Francesco Torrente, thank you very much for the follow, appreciate it. And guys, also appreciate all your uh, Merry Christmas wishes. So, as you can see, the timer has hit zero for quite some while. And this is the fact where we need to be patient. We need to really be patient and wait for the game, wait for Steam to actually sort out the issue or sort out the entrance, sort out everything that has to do with it. And there you go. You have joined the qualifying session, starting to load the track, join getting details. That is probably a command we should not see, but will also be fixed in the near future. The game is now putting us into splits, loading up the track, and then we have that practice session, and then we go into the qualifying session. The big issue right now with all this is as soon as you go into the server, if you are late and the qualifying session has already started, the same shit happens that has happened to us last night. We are not able to qualify because it is a closed session and you're pending an open session and you cannot enter a closed session. Uh, Rolfie, thank you for your follow. Appreciate your time, man. Appreciate everyone, guys, uh, being here. So that is the qualifying system explained. And from... Coming back to the point where we do the second qualifying session, um, then we have 90 entries, let's say. There is a new top 90 list. That means you can move up, um, or that means you can move up and down in the splits, whatever your top time is in that 90 people um, table. And then let's say there is on the next day another qualifying session where like 50 of the guys already qualified put in their new lap times. The top 90 table gets updated and the splits may change once again. So this is how qualifying as such works. Um, it is a very dynamic qualifying. Every qualifying session goes into a final sheet. That sheet is always active. That sheet is always the leading point the leading factor when we go into the sessions into the race sessions 
and um, will stay active until the very last race is done. Remember, one event contains three days and contains five races a day so the qualifying you did on day one is applied for all 15 or all 12 all 10 however event or however races in the event remaining that will be your qualifying position according to your splits where you're going to be put in which means from the 90 drivers it's just 45 are going to be participating those 40 the 45 best spots out of the 90 Drivers table get extracted into a 45, then sorted into the top 20, top 21st to 40th, and so on. And um, if you do have any further questions on that, uh, when you rewatch this video, put the questions down in the comments area below, and I happily come back towards you uh, trying to explain it. You have no date for the release of competitive servers. Um, the servers are already out there, to be honest. Because we have just entered one of these servers. We're in P19, we're in the practice session still, and we now do qualifying with all the other guys around. So Kevin Ryan, I do know, has done some qualifying yesterday already. Um, it will be particularly interesting between him and me towards the top spot. We will find out on this hashtag soon. Um, I'm gonna now put out this standing sheet. And I'm gonna load my setup. And I'm gonna put low fuel because qualifying and such. So we take just fuel for five or six laps and then we actually can race. Liberty Patriot, say that, how are you doing? Uh, why is there races without qualifying? Because actually no qualifying is needed right now in the current system. So one specific difference to what we know from iRacing is that qualifying sessions and racing sessions are excluded and independent from each other. As I've just explained, the way qualifying is active for the entire time and will be applied to all racing events itself, if drivers that are not qualified for any race whatsoever enter the competition I'm not sure if they end up in the lowest split. I would need to talk to Marcel Offermans about that. But whichever split they're going to be put into, they're going to start behind the pre-qualified people and that in a random order. So that is the reason why we actually started 17th, 18th, 19th all the last time. Um, and I will expect this to be changed from now on as soon as we have done our qualifying session, our qualifying result. Uh, how good our result is for the upcoming events, I do not know. And I will probably not see that yet. Obviously, again, that said, remember, the competition system is still in a beta mode. And R Factor 2 is step by step releasing new features on it, releasing new content to it. Um, especially about content, we're going to speak about this in the near future because the competition you ent can enter here, the Tattoos FT60, is free content all around. Troll Turismo, will the competition system be similar to how iRacing is? There will surely be some things that are quite close to each other. But there will surely be more things that will be quite different to it. Grant Merle, welcome to the show, welcome to the stream and Merry Christmas to you. Are there any assists allowed? Oh, the game is still synchronizing, so before I leave pit road I better go back. We can go through that right now, right there. So, steering help is allowed. Opposite lock disallowed, braking help disallowed, stability control disallowed, spin recovery disallowed, invulnerability disallowed, auto shift disallowed, traction control disallowed, ABS disallowed, auto pit lane obviously disallowed. Well, and then there's just auto clutch, and that is allowed. So basically, no driving assists allowed whatsoever. Anyway, something else that needs to be considered is that you are only allowed to do 12 laps in the entire session. So what I'm going to do is 
are gonna drive out, do three or four laps, probably do four timed laps, then the in lap is a is well the lap to the pit doesn't count. And then I can go out for three or four additional timed laps when the traction and the track conditions are better because I do expect the real roads to build up with every car moving around this. JR Schmidtl, thank you very much for following up on Twitch. Appreciate your time, man. Thumb, very much welcome you here on the stream. Guys, everyone, check out Thumb. An extraordinary quick guy on F1 2020. Made it into the Bro Draft this year. So definitely deserves a big audience and also runs a quite interesting uh, channel on Twitch. So everyone... Check him out as Nendo Racing has followed up. Thank you very much indeed, buddy. So, now on qualifying. You know what? I'm going to actually introduce you into my qualifying view for this one. Thump, I'm doing great. Just explaining the new R Factor 2 competition system that has just gone live in a beta version to the public. And now trying to do one of the qualifying sessions. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. So the second lap should be a tad quicker even. Let's see what we can do lap time-wise, though. The lap was a 105.30. A little bit of understeering during turn two there. Jake Seattle, thank you very much, man, for the follow. Appreciate that. You're jealous of the Mercedes steering wheel? Well, it's not on my rig right now. It's for repairs. Oh, seriously? So, another lap done. The lap was a 105.12. Too quick into this section of the track. So, and I think. Well, I have fuel for another lap there. Jake, I do appreciate the new uh, competition system. We're going to talk a bit more about it after the quality session. Uh, you will get points, Nando Racing, on the race results according to your performance. So I hope people one, will now zero, check the eight, mirrors. Point, zero, five. Oh, this is all confusing a bit. I love this. Okay, so five laps done. Uh, gonna actually take out a little bit of fuel because even on the second lap, the car didn't feel as goody anymore. Uh, 
Um, no, this is open setup. Oh dear. Stienprin Racing. Is that pronounced correctly? Freaky Botti, Pfeffer, how you doing, man? Um, yes, R Factor 2, new competition system. That does mean the community was waiting for a competition system designed by R Factor 2 to come out for months, actually for years already. And I'm just going to wait a little bit until I'm going to put in more laps. Um, I can do better than a 105.1. I can go into the 104s. Um, also, Ryan Billy Gaming, how do you exit the session details? It would not let me in. Um, you cannot now join the session. You would have need to bit. Uh, you would have need to subscribe to it earlier. Jake, see at it. I am running an ultra wide screen in R Factor 2, no triple screen. So, eight minutes to go. That will also come close to our possible time left in the session a little bit more than eight minutes and after the qualifying we're going to talk a little bit more about the competition system because then in just 17 minutes from now we're gonna have a race And then I can tell you once again what's up with that competition system, what's up with that qualifying system. Uh, so I hope you guys will be a little bit more patient till after the session. Alison, Oliviera, welcome. Is it possible to make ranking or lifetiming of this competitions out of R Factor 2? Something like I ra live races. Um, I will need to speak to Marcel Offermans, the CEO of Studio 397, whether such a lifetiming system is planned. Um, as you may have seen, the watch tab in the R Factor 2 simulation main menu, there is actually a placeholder for such kind of system. So potentially, we're looking to get something like this indeed. Jake, I can tell you it's not the easiest accessible thing ever, so... Before streaming it, it took me quite some while to actually understand everything myself. Carry the speed... We're gonna come in purple and we improve. Into the 104s we go. That is a kind of goody lap. Not sure if we can really improve that. 104.8. That was a 104.86. Ah, no. <laughs> okay, box box. Yes, troll Turismo. I'm using a custom setup. Cool tour TV. Thank you very much for following up on the Twitch system. I appreciate your time, man. Matthias, you love the triples. I can understand that. I think triples are awesome to race with too. For me, I just keep with my ultra wide screen because I believe, well, it's not as hard on, on the hardware as a, as a triple setup. Okay, so actually, four minutes to go. We will mean uh, fuel for three laps. 
uh, for four laps in total. So we're just going to go out for the final time. Four minutes to go. And then we also reach our maximum available lap count. Exactly, Matthias, that's the thing, hence why I'm happy with my ultra wide here. Indy Mata, hello, how you doing? Yeah, maybe this video gives you a good possibility um, for getting into the competition system. And guys, for everyone that is watching this as a video on demand afterwards, feel free in YouTube to put down your questions in the comments area below. As long as they don't get by chance answered in the live stream. I'm doing good, man. I appreciate your time. So let's go again. Way too late on the brakes, not sure if tyres were not heated up yet correctly. So once we're done with qualifying, um, I'm gonna more talk about the system itself, the way it's used. Final shot at this. JS Stelzel, thank you very much, man. Appreciate your time. Welcome to our Twitch channel. Thanks for the support. Right, so. Oh, someone's dead. Cool tour, I will answer that question in a minute. Ah, hit too much curb. Shouldn't have shifted down <laughs> to third gear. Uh, should it should have shifted down to second gear. Anyway, we're purple. No, too quicky. <laughs> anyway, box box. Oh, don't kill anyone's lap. Box box. So, uh, yes, since now we can speak a little bit freely about this cool tour. Merry Xmas, Merry Christmas to you as well, buddy. Uh, the game is on half price on Steam. Is it worth the money? Some say this is the most realistic driving experience. Are there enough players online? So, cool tour, this is interesting that you say that because the reason why there are maybe to this point not enough players online as of right now is the fact it was missing a competition system. A competition system has been developed for at least two years now, and the first beta version of it is out. Now people will be like, oh, why does this take two years? It's just because 3D397 has a lot different, a lot less, and is a lot smaller than iRacing, and has a lot less resources for that. Anyway, um, so we're leading this pack. 
We're at 104.8, and I'm going to come back on what I said previously towards this qualifying. So let's imagine we already had 80 drivers in the qualifying system. And to answer your question, Cool Tour, real quick, is it worth the money? I'm a 100% R Factor 2 guy. I will always be biased to it, but I would have recommend it to everyone that looks for the real racing simulation or the real most experienced, most realistic driving the cars may be broken at times, so you have to drift slide them a bit to be quick. But that's not due to the physics, that's more bad to the bad cars itself or to the tire model. Anyway, um, coming back on the topic. Now imagine we had already 80 drivers um, qualified. I know that Mr. Kevin Ryan was on a qualifying already, so he is here to improve his times. Let's pretend the other guys, um, 16 drivers at the minute, are here for the first time, uh, for 15 drivers. So that means the existing 80 guys will get updated by Kevin Ryan's time. So Kevin, with his 105.7, moves from, I'll say, P20 now to P9, if he has improved. Um, in the same way... Um, the other 15 drivers are now being put into the new list. So the qualifying list not only contains 80 drivers now, but 95. And this list, this list of 95 people will now get used to determine the starting order for five splits, 20 drivers per split, top 20 in first split, second top 20 in second split, and so on, and remaining 10 in split five. And this order... Let's say if of, out of those 90, 95 pre-qualified drivers, only, I don't know, 60 take part in it, we're going to have three splits ordered by the list of 95 drivers. So we're going to register for that race. And again, the bug happens, registering, error registering for the session. So we quickly restart R Factor 2 because we need to get into that game. And as I said, this is still a beta. So it will have flaws, it will have issues. Uh, starting R Factor 2. Um, and so the qualifying that just happened updates the list of previous qualifyings and sort of, you know, resizes the grid, resizes the data that's been used to process this qualifying for the starting grid order for the races coming up now, and will now, from now on, be active. So with that 104.8 I just did, I have zero, zero clue if that is pole position or not. But if it is, I'm going to be in the top split and I'm going to start from P1. If it's not, I'm still going to be in the top split, I guess, I hope. And... I'm going to start from somewhere in the top five, I believe. Dozens, thank you for the follow. I appreciate your time, man. Ah, Kevin. <laughs> Share the setup, please. I don't want. <laughs> I don't want. Can you make an attack that's really on the circuit? Lexar, I will, re I will consider it to do it and come back on that, maybe. Zapata8, thank you very much for the follow. I appreciate your time. I appreciate all of your times, guys. Uh, thanks for the honest answers. You think you're sold. Do I have to buy each extra content separately as I can't see the full package options right now? Kultur, to a certain extent, yes. In the meanwhile, I'm going to register. Oh, no. More. Ah, yeah. I can click join on the race now. Um, to a certain extent, you have to buy more content. Um, however, this Tattoos Winter Series, I just read out loud, this series features the Tattoos FT60 and races it on seven different tracks. Each event lasts for three days and with five races per day, catering for all the different time zones. All content is freely available. So, for this competition, for this Tattoos FT60 series, you do just need to find the Tattoos FT60 on the uh, Steam Workshop. And beyond that, you need to find Portland, Sandford, Silverstone, Lime Rock Park, Lochdrummond, 
Morris and Botnering. That's going to be the seven tracks where this series takes part on. We're in event one still at Portland. That lasts still tomorrow. So you can still good, score yourself good points. And we're just going to have a look into the standings. Here it is a full list of guys in the qualifying session. Or that did a qualifying session. Um, on the summary it said something like, yes, position standings. 152nd to, to our qualifying result. I don't think that is entirely true, but <clears throat> I'm just gonna read it out. Last race result was first, the race from that morning. And I can already tell you from the race points, we're currently leading over everyone below. So in total, 300 th 347 guys have done a race at Portland. Um, so that is our current rating. So we got 500 points being awarded right now. This still may change till the last race of Portland. So everyone down here could still outscore me by the number of races, number of wins, number of performances. How exactly the performance is measured and gave me, given me the 500 points, I have no idea yet. There is an algorithm in the background of R Factor 2 that works somehow. Uh, Rasmus Andreasen, thank you very much indeed for uh, resubscribing with the Prime subscription on Twitch. Appreciate the support. Enjoy uh, the, the custom emotes for you that you give uh, that you've been given access now as a tier one subscriber. Thank you very much indeed, man. Merry Christmas to you. And also NigVG140, thanks for the follow. I appreciate your time as well, man. Thank you very much. So next up, the race session. 20 minute race starting in 45 seconds and I'm really going to be interested in seeing how this qualifying session will be. During the race we're going to talk about some future plans of R Factor 2 regarding the system. So now that we've talked through qualifying, this qualifying session by the way will be active for this race. It will be also active for the race at 10 and will also be active for the race at 2 a.m. in the morning. That will be in Central European time. This qualifying session, the 1.30, whatever happens there will get an update to the actually already existing qualifying list. So that is how the qualifying works. You can qualify with a specific time, get yourself in the ranked position in the quali entire qualifying list. And from that list, every race grid is going to be gathered from. Right, that was this about that. Once again, disclaimer, we still are in beta position. You've seen me in position 152. Now you would be like, how can this guy put in a 104.8, being 100 P152 on the grid, and then be leading for the entire competition right now? That's probably because I'm not in a P152, but probably somewhere in the top 10, I would say. Um... Hey Kevin, you're in, hopefully see you on track. Lexa, how much time did you gain with this setup compared to the standard setup? I have no clue because I basically just used it because it was around, but I guess five or six, seven tenths maybe. I'm going to do a setup guide for Silverstone, that's an actual problem. So you guys have something to look at and then race for in round three at Silverstone. For those guys watching it on, uh, as a Patreon, uh, you receive early access to it and may already use it during Sunford, most likely. Uh, yes, Thomas Lenz, the qualifying standings are still unsorted. Jake, uh, the race session that was just started should have never been there, to be honest. It should have thrown you off the server earlier. Uh, it threw me off regardless, so you will just be back into the competition system and then you can register to a race, which I just did. And now we're loading the racetrack. Yeah, Troll Turismo, the car needs specific driving as well. I'm going to uh, mention this in the setup guide as soon as I'm doing that. Once again, if you guys are interested in becoming a patron and get an early access on the uh, setup guide, check out www.patreon.com slash Michihoya. There's also a link in the description of the video. Um, 
Also, that is a building community feature. So once we reach a specific amount of Patreon guys, we're going to do monthly competitions all together. So, right, again, we are at Portland. And um, now coming towards the race session, I will be interested to see whom I'm going to drive with. Because I expect whoever is going to be here is somewhere up in the competition system on the qualifying note. Um, Adam Serge, he just did a P2 time with us. Matthew Williams is a very strong one. Um, I think Felix Antoine Fortin, Mantis Rekus is with us. Kevin Ryan, Ibrahim Keen, Khan, the guy that is currently second. So those guys here in this group, they are definitely top split guys. So hence why we're going to race them right now, right there. And it's going to be very tight for us, that's for sure. So. Despite the other races we just had, now no drama, no mistakes allowed whatsoever. I'm just going to come up with my setup again. Sixteen liters for the race, two minutes of warm-up left, so we're going to actually drive a little bit with race fuel. And then you guys are going to enjoy the race with us. So after the race, every split has been looked at and every position of every split has been put into contact with each other and then points are awarded that are in the end resulting in the thing that we're currently leading. Um, Knax, you need to you need to restart our factor 2 before you can click the join button. It is a bug currently and it's been looked at, but for the moment and time being you have to do it. Um, so, what else is in the future with R Factor 2 in this competition system? I can already tell you because I got clearance from Marcel Offermans and after some conversation with him, R Factor 2 brings out a new competition as soon as the current one is working properly. So, they are now trying to first fix the race points, then the, the standings, then the quality lists then the displays, then the loading times, they try to fix all this and as soon as the, all this is fixed they are going to introduce a second competition with paid content so tracks like Silverstone like I don't know not only Silverstone but Indianapolis, Sanford, or Sanford is free uh, Le Mans maybe, the Nürburgring with GTE cars. So GTE is going the car choice for the second competition time that hopefully is about to start pretty soon. Once again, as soon as the entire competition around the tattoos is working brilliantly, they are gonna introduce this. And uh, now we're going to see, I have no idea, I saw where we are going to start, but let's see. Hello Nicolini! Since you have Intel detail, do you know if the competition system races will be hourly? At the moment, it's every five hours, Jake. Every five hours. Porsche Cup Fix Series, Nicolini. <laughs> you wanna experience the pain, do you? So, we're coming to the race now. Ibrahim Khan, 105.7. That's gonna be tough. The race is coming up now. Yes, Jake. It's gonna st it's gonna be a race every five hours, and indeed we're starting on pole, so that is goody. We did awesome qualifying. Philip Monnier, hey there, how are you? So, qualifying in pole. That's goody. Let's see what we can do. We. And during that we can talk about the competition system a lot more. You guys will be able to answer questions. On a side note though, after the race we're gonna go over to iRacing doing the, the Lara IR01 and the BMW M4 GT3 at Motegi.
cold tires, cold brakes, cold material whatsoever. Thank you, Philip. That was a one eleven point two two. Ah, the slipstream is pretty long in that car though. Regardless, I'm trying to pull away now. Oh, Hemmings nearly put it into the wall there. So. That was a Let's one see. zero five point two four. Nice turn in Anglo. Front wing on the line. So as mentioned already, as soon as this competition runs goody and smoothly, new competitions will already be added on the fly with a GTE series on other tracks that will be paid content. So not as free to enter as this one, sadly. The lap was a one zero five point zero three. Ah, uh, Marcos, the race is not done yet. As these tires go down, a uh, mistake is made pretty quickly. But yeah, I'm pretty, f I'm feeling pretty confident right now. It's true. Montes Rec is now in second position. Maybe, Jake, they will overlap, but I think they are putting that into different time slots. That said, the reason why most of those competitions are every five hours, I believe, is exactly that. There is, they are keeping spots for different, for different racing series <coughs> to fill in between those five hours. Oh, one a little wide. Yes, Grant Merle, currently our Factor 2 is in sale, so is lots of the, the DLC. So, uh, during the winter sale now, our Factor 2 is a real bargain. I can only recommend you guys to get it. So, what is further on tonight? Merry Christmas to all of you, first of all. Um, Santa is being happy with you and therefore you get a lot of streams as I already mentioned right after this race we're gonna swap over to iRacing with the Dalara Formula IR01 to be raced at Silverstone and right after the Silverstone race 
We're gonna hop into the new BMW M4 prototype GT3 car and have a race at Twin Motegi. All that being on Twitch the only, though. One, Just zero, know that five, Twitch only. Point, four, five. Uh, because I'm keeping my uh, YouTube account clear for another competition race at Portland here in the FT60 at 4 p.m. Uh, sorry, at 4 p.m. at uh, 10 p.m. So there's a lot of racing stuff to come for you guys. And if you got some questions towards the competition system, towards the races, feel free to put them out. Kevin Peters, you need to do a good qualifying in order to be in a better split and then the uh, the driving standards will rise, trust me. And basically happened start, starting from Paul right now, this is good here. The lap was a 105.25. Lexla, remember we had this car in a competition for the Sim Formula Europe, so I may have a little bit of understanding advantages after I have a full setup and lots of laps turned in the car already. And then remember, this is the fourth race around Portland with this car as well. Kevin, feel free to join us on the Discord. Uh, everyone feel free to join us on the community Discord server. You find an entrance link in the description of the Twitch channel or in the description of this video that brings you to the welcome room. You just need to basically apply to some basic rules and then you're allowed to access the entire Discord world of mine. We can have a little bit of a discussion about all that later on there. As long as I'm not streaming at the same time. Ooh, don't crash, man. And I'll say that as honest as one can say this. I can take it easy. Should take it easy. I mean, I did my 104 in the race. It's goody goody. for Neckmund. Did you see the stream that morning? So Kevin Peters, you mentioned something very interesting. There will be a protest and race control system as well. So uh, R Factor 2 or Studio 397 will bring some kind of manual race control into this as well. Especially for this fact, because it will one, be possible zero, five, that you get banned eight, from the R Factor 2 competition system if you do not behave. Hence why I said in the very beginning of the stream, you need to apply and agree to the code of conduct. And by doing so, you agree to the rules and definitely to agree to the fact that you don't just punt someone off intentionally, full stop. Was a one zero five point two five ten minutes remaining. Ah, God damn it. <laughs> 
I actually can push that 104 to a little bit quicker, but... Mark, where is Santa? Santa was fuming in his costume. Sorry, Bliskin70. Bliskin70, big shout out to you. Thank you for the follow. I also appreciate your time. Sorry for missing that. The lap was a 105.40. Couldn't get the rotation in. Bang. I appreciate that word, Lexa. That was a one. Love to zero, read that, to be five, honest. Five point three three. So let's also talk about the future features that shall come to this system. So of course, there will be some kind of rating. Whether this will be on, like on iRacing, where you're gonna have a performance rating known as iRating and a safety rating, I'm not 100% sure. Of course, there will be certain criteria you need to meet in order to be eligible to race in a specific a one, series or zero, a specific five, championship. Point, four, five. Um, how this is looking, I do not know yet, and probably R Factor 2 or Studio 397 doesn't know yet either. Uh, the fact is, there will be some rating coming, and also pretty much required, of course. So we're just gonna have to wait and see what they bring up. But I guess that will be coming soon. Right now, it's just simply disabled for not overwhelming the community and also not overwhelming the system. And then, of course, there may be potentially the possibility that R Factor 2 even adds through existing leagues like VEC, FSR one, to the zero, system. Five, but something point, that seven, I can nine. assure you of being 100% added and considered in the system will be their GT series. So, GT Pro, GT Challenge. All that system, all that competition side of life will be displayed and will be handled by the competition system. So if you are a driver in a GT Pro, you are always kind of racing in a top split in a GT Pro series. You gain your rating or lose your rating compared to how you finish, stuff like that. That is 100% sure that this will be part on the competition system in the future. John Nine Year Man, thank you very much for the follow. I appreciate your time. Thanks for the support, buddy. So, and if you're enjoying the content, if you are um, loving the stuff we do, 
please also make sure you subscribe up on the YouTube Arizona, channel if you one, haven't done zero, already. Five, that would be point, mega. Five, That's the only five. thing I could ask for. Other than that, of course, I do have links in the description of the video and the channel description for the Facebook page, Instagram. Guys, give me a like, follow up wherever you want me to support. And of course, if you also want to support me monetary wise, there is plenty of options. I have a Streamlabs direct donation link that is always greatly appreciated. You can always have a super chat, become a member on the YouTube channel or like Rasmus Andreas and just did. Uh, you can sub on the Twitch system. All of that is greatly appreciated as you can imagine. And of course I'm not asking for it, just hinting out. You guys are following up and subscribing to the systems. Uh, that is massive support already. So I'm really, really happy for this and appreciate it big time. So, we have apparently fuel for six more laps. Let's see if this is the first race that, was a that one, we zero, five, point, four, 19 laps three. in. Host leap, yes, our factor 2 is virtual reality ready. Oh, sorry, that's not host, that's uh, Ivor. Yes, it is possible to use VR in the system. So, tires are about to fade away, you can feel it. Times are dropping a bit, but everyone's times are dropping a bit. Beside that, my concentration also dropping a bit with me mumbling all the time. <laughs> and then remember, follow up and subscribe because we're going to be live on Twitch only for some iRacing starting the stream for iRacing actually. 17.45 at the very latest, so 20 minutes from now. No Kevin. The I think three one, laps to go zero, actually. Five, point, six, four. Steadily building the gap still. Noise. Check 77 O'Nelly, thank you man for becoming a tier 1 subscriber on Twitch, enjoy the custom emotes that are going to be more in the, in the future, especially also on YouTube with a rising member, uh, with a rising number of members on YouTube we can bring more custom emotes, same goes for Twitch there, you guys are fully supporting Philip Bonnier, thank one, you man, zero, appreciate that a lot. Six, four. I know that you've subscribed on YouTube as well, so it's uh, awesome support man. One minute remaining, actually, it's for the first time ever we're gonna do 19 laps in the race. So this is the last lap. Just came the across it. One zero five point four seven. Time's up now.
flag to flag win. Not to be confused with flag to flag racing. <laughs> Cameron. Oh, the race. That was good stuffy. Thank you guys, thank you. So, definitely defending the lead in the Portland competition. And we're gonna have a look at the system once again. So you guys gonna have uh, any uh, questions towards the R Factor 2 competition system as of right now, then uh, please put them out. If you have watched the video completely and you want to still think about some things and then have a question later, put them down in YouTube in the commentary area below. I will have a look at them. I will answer them. And then you guys hopefully get all questions answered. Steve099, you see my co-driver is off for another race. Yeah, he's back up in the sky. <laughs> Um, let's see, I want to see the full lap times. Can I do this even? Yes, there is an expand button. Noise. Look at that. Consistency. 5 I was talking in that lapse. 4 6, six seven, six. That was just tire degradation. That's well, looking awesome. Let's see what Rick is there in second. He did a, a few high point fives at times. Ah, oh, still awesome. That, those are good laps. PP677, thank you very much for the follow. Appreciate it. Yes, Kevin Peters, next race is in four hours. Uh, we're going to do this as well here live on R-Factor 2, live on YouTube as well. Uh, so be prepared. That is a promise already. And uh, we're going to have a look here as soon as the game throws me off. I just don't want to um, want to close off the game. This was race 9, so 5 races left. We will see what people will now do. Um, anyway. Guys, a big, big, big massive thank you for following all. <laughs> hey Mantis. Was good running from you though, honestly. Strong pacer. So we have joined in that one uh, in the standings. I don't know why the qualifying's effed up, um, but I know that this is that re that race result is already updated because Ibrahim Khan he finished way down the order, and I think Ryan was somewhere near. Hemmingson was P4, and eventually Mentor's wreck is he was second on the last race, and therefore I think he was fourth or fifth before. Now overtook Ke um, Mr. Khan, and I don't know what the full algorithm behind it is. Um, yeah, well, Mentor's are gonna do the race at 10, so enjoy. No, Kevin Peters, real quick again. The sessions, the qualifying session, is applied to every race. So now we have done qualifying. There is an updated qualifying list. And when you do qualifying at 1.30 a.m., whatever your time is, you're going to be updated into that already existing list. And that is being processed and being used for all the races. Yes, Kevin Peters, I know that 500 is max, but I want to give our factor to the data. I want to give them the data for their algorithm to improve it. Manel, Kubo, and... Oh dear. 
Firinia 1987 thank you very much for following up on the Twitch channel, for making the community grow, and uh, for joining our stream. So, again, guys, um, the next race is in four and a half hours for us. So, uh, 10 p.m. we're going to do this. Yes, 100%. Um, that's going to do it for this one, actually. And uh, we will be back live on iRacing in 15 minutes time on Twitch only, though. Uh, we're going to race... Um, I'm going to quickly show that on the stream. Uh, what we're going to do. So, I'll factor 2. I can close that into iRacing. Um, so, we're going to race... The IMSA Sports Car Championship at 7.45 in the BMW M4. But before that, we're going to race the, where is it? iRacing Formula Dallara or the, uh, where is it? The Dallara Formula IR. There you go. We're going to race that first around Silverstone. And we're going to start this right now. Um, guys, once again... Big, big, massive thank you for watching. I need to change the scene and some other stuff. So I will shut down the stream now. Um, for for those that want to have something else going on for the next 15 minutes, uh, I'm going to send you over to some other what stream. Going on for the next 15 minutes. Oops. And that will be... Um, actually, the green hell driver. He is currently doing some eye racing as well. And he will be furious for the raid, I'm pretty sure. So, guys, you enjoy the Green Hell Driver uh, eye racer from Germany. And uh, you can enjoy that for the next 15 minutes. And then I hope, I hope you guys will be back um, in about 15 minutes' time. We're going to do the, the Lara Formula IR first and straight afterwards. The um, IMSA Sports Car Championship with a BMW M4 trying this car for the first time. And uh, can't wait on it, to be honest, to see how it drives. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for being here. Hope you enjoyed this. If you do appreciate the stuff that we do, please, on YouTube, give the video a like. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Uh, make this community grow. And also follow up on Twitch. And then we see each other later for more iRacing. And at the very latest, 10 p.m. for more our Factor 2 competition system. Guys, see you there. Goodbye.